you're gonna step into the competitive arena, you gotta have something to go to. This is Brian Kane with the Mental Performance Daily Podcast, and today we start a little mini seminar with six-time Major League Baseball All-Star Lance Berkman. Lance is also the head coach of Houston Christian University Baseball, and what he talks about is having something to go to and giving his players a tangible process of what you can do when you get out of control. We say all the time here in our Mental Performance Daily community that you have to be in control of yourself before you can control your performance. And the bigger the competition, the more chances they're going to be that you get taken out of control. To use our terminology, in control is green light, losing control is yellow light, out of control is red light. And the more fierce the competition, the more frequent the red light. So what you've got to be able to do is have something to go to to get you back in control. Well, what we talk about to go to is your deep breath. What we go to is strategies to get present. For example, as a baseball player, feeling the dirt underneath your feet in the batter's box, hearing yourself clean out the batter's box. Uh, as a football player, it's really being intentional about when you strap the helmet on, hearing that, feeling that, looking at an upright or a focal point taking that deep breath to make sure you're in control and you have something to go to when you get out of control. So for our hockey players listening to this, that might be the blue line on the boards across from your bench. For the baseball players, it might be a foul pole. It might be a second base bag. It might be the batter's eye, right? Or softball players. Those are all going to be there in the field you're playing at. So what is it for you that you go to when you find yourself getting out of control so that you can get back into control? Because everyone's going to lose control. That's the part of the human condition. The question is, do you have something to go to to get you back in control of yourself? What's that going to be for you? Let's listen to Lance talk about the importance of having something to go to. They have something that they can go to that kind of helps them calm their mind a little bit. And, and you know, I think that's like I've heard you say this many times, um, you know, what you have is a process or, or and it's it's a it's a thing that you can actually do. It's not just some it's just not a willy nilly set of coach speak sayings. It's an actual process that you work through and you go through. And that's what you know, that's what I love about what you do is it it sort of gives parameters and gives practical steps that people can do so that they can improve in, in this area that to me is the great separate. Thanks for checking out Mental Performance Daily with Brian Kane, an Ironclad original. If you like the show, be sure to leave us a rating, review, and comment. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, it's Brian, and I need your help. As a valued member of our Mental Performance Daily community, I'd love to receive some questions from you that I can use to help create new upcoming Mental Performance Daily podcast episodes. So in the show notes below this episode, you're going to see a link where you can submit your questions, and I'll make sure I do my very best to answer those questions on an upcoming Mental Performance Daily podcast. Thanks a lot. Recently on Change Agents with Andy Stumpf, an ironclad original from executive producer Jack Carr. Andy spoke with someone on the front lines of the war against international sex traffickers, Sentinel Foundation founder Glenn Devitt. It will be the hardest thing you've ever done. The second you fucking pull a kid out and they start crying, and then you start crying, yeah, there's nothing, yeah, there's nothing better. Never miss an episode. Subscribe to Change Agents with Andy Stump wherever you get your podcasts and get the full cinematic experience on YouTube at This Is Ironclad.